Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2021 Rolls-Royce Cullinan, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. While most Americans are busy growing the sea of faceless crossovers, the country's richest residents are luxuriating in the literal Rolls-Royce of SUVs. Once the exorbitant Cullinan went on sale, the company synonymous with wealth presumably got wealthier. Its first ever SUV became its best-selling model and a fashion accessory for one percenters. It's powered by an effortless twin turbo V12 engine and floats on an adjustable air suspension. The cabin is pure bliss with supremely comfortable seats and generous passenger space. The environment can be enhanced even further with many personalization options. Without a doubt, the 2021 Rolls-Royce Cullinan is one of the fanciest SUVs on the planet and that's why it costs a small fortune. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021 Rolls-Royce Cullinan. It's the company's ultra-luxury SUV. But real quick, before we get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews, and I've put links in the description below. So far, I have one related build and price review. Just the other day, I did a build and price review of the 2021 Bentley Bentayga V8 in a touring spec. They, that vehicle, that SUV, super luxurious, very nice, of course. Comes in two trim levels, comes in either a V8 or a V12 that's called the Speed. I decided to do the V8. Uh, so, and today, uh, the Cullinan actually comes in two trims as well. So, let's talk about that. Technically, there are just two trim levels of Rolls-Royce Cullinan. There's the base Cullinan and the Cullinan Black Badge. I say technically because the boundless customization potential essentially means you can create your own trim with a range of materials and features that are entirely different from any other Cullinan on the road. Nevertheless, both the Cullinan and Cullinan Black Badge are fitted with a 6.75, they call it a 6 and 3 quarter liter V12 engine with twin turbocharging. In the base Cullinan, which we're looking at, for lack of a better term, calling it a base as much as it costs, in the base Cullinan, uh, that engine makes, it produces 563 horsepower and 627 pound-feet of torque. Now, that same engine here in the Cullinan Black Badge has been retuned, and so it, it makes 592 horsepower and 664 pound-feet of torque. Either way, an 8-speed automatic transmission is standard on both models, along with all-wheel drive and a self-leveling air suspension. So before we get into the features and go over all the features that uh, Rolls-Royce wants to tell us about the Cullinan, and before we actually jump into, into the Rolls-Royce configurator and actually spec out and configure our Rolls-Royce Cullinan, how much does a Rolls-Royce Cullinan cost? Because here's the thing, websites like this, Rolls-Royce, Bentley, Lamborghini, Ferrari, Aston Martin, websites like that, they don't put MSRPs. They don't put their price. I guess they figure if you got to ask, you can't afford it. Well, I need to know how much it is, so let's turn to the internet to figure that out. So I just did a quick little Google search uh, with the search term uh, Rolls-Royce Cullinan Price. And I got a couple of different things here because we're, we're really just getting a ballpark. I've seen the other day that the price MSRP is from about $330,000. Uh, somebody asked the question for a 2021 model, yet that said, uh, that happened to say a 20, uh, I think that said the 2020 Cullinan. However, I'm sure the, the MSRP is probably somewhere still around $330,000. Uh, here's a Rolls Royce for sale from a, Looks, the URL looks like it's from a Rolls-Royce dealer, and they've got in parentheses $373,000. But I think we could dig a little bit deeper and get more specific prices. So let's go do that. So here we are on Auto Trader, right, because they list cars that are for sale specifically. Here we can see, well, this one at the top doesn't have a, a, a price. But these two here, these are black badges, of mind you, which do cost a little bit more. So we've got these, they're both $429,000, $423,000. Right here looks to be a regular Cullinan. 
Uh, says 2021 Rolls Royce Cullinan, $403,000. Looks like there's a lot of black badges out there. And in the big picture, there's just not a lot of these vehicles just sitting around on dealer lots. Okay, so I was doing a little bit more digging, and it, it seems like maybe the starting price of your base model Cullinan is about $325,000, okay? Uh, and then you've got the black, uh, you've got the black badge. And I think the black badge starts somewhere around $382,000. No other SUV is priced at the Cullinan's level. The closest you'll get is the Bentley Bentayga Speed, which carries an MSRP of $240,000. As you know, I did the V8. Okay, now let's go over the features of the 2021 Rolls-Royce Cullinan Ultra Luxury SUV and then after that we're going to build it we're going to we're going to we're going to build it and spec it. We're not going to know what the price is, but we'll build and spec uh, spec it. So you can see here that what is Rolls-Royce really trying to show us here? They're trying to tell us that even though this is a $400,000 SUV and possibly even more depending on how bespoke you want it, uh this thing's still the real deal. It can still be hardcore. Look, it's climbing mountains, climbing rocks, going through snow, traversing through uh, riverbeds and creeks and whatnot, splashing and sloshing around and doing all that. Seems pretty hardcore to me. Uh, so, yeah, that's what they're letting us know here. They're, letting, they're showing us the utility, right, that hardcore utility of this Rolls-Royce. It's not just a fancy nameplate, but it's got uh, the chops behind it to back it up. Here, it looks like they're talking about the design and the construction and the process in, in building the 2021 uh, uh, Rolls-Royce Cullinan. It says it's got an aluminum space frame underpinning. Uh, it's got a magic carpet ride. The driving experience is peerless. Uh, they're basically just telling you how great it is uh, and that it's got uh, great chassis technology, right? That, to, that delivers that signature magic carpet ride. I've never driven a Rolls Royce and or ridden in one, so I'm not sure what that magic carpet ride experience is, all, is like. Perhaps you know. Here they're talking about that self-leveling air suspension that cushions against the toughest surfaces. Uh, and it proactively adjusts to acceleration, steering cues, camera intelligence. It's got a double wishbone front axle. It's got a five-link uh, rear axle. And it's, uh, they say it has agility and stability. So here they've got a button, and it's called the off-road button. And when you press that button, uh, it, re it re unleashes the Cullinan's full off-road capability. All-wheel drive actively engages. Um, uh, the suspension raises 40 millimeters for additional ground clearance. Brake and acceleration responses adapt for greater control. So it's pretty cool. The whole thing is, is someone that's probably driving this vehicle, isn't all technical and hardcore about off-road stuff. And yeah, they probably do just want a button that they press. And that does kind of more or less everything uh, so they can get on down the road. They are really trying to push the fact that you could take this Rolls Royce anywhere. This little sentence down here says, hey, go anywhere uh, with absolute authority. Their most capable Rolls Royce ever created. I'm quite sure it's the most capable. And, you know, they gotta, they keep showing you how hardcore this thing is out there right now they got the little configure button we're not quite there yet we'll get there in a second we have a few more things we want to go over like the interior of the cullinan look at these little uh seats they have off the off the back looks like when the the tailgate flips down looks like you've got two exquisitely finished leather seats and a cocktail table deployed from the luggage compartment uh for bespoke viewing suite they call it the bespoke viewing suite uh, I guess that depends on where you're seating, where you're, what you're looking at. But anyway, it's there. You've got the partition glass. If you need privacy, someone's driving you. Da 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 da. The Cullen is the only SUV with a glass per tar partition. Oh, that's between the partition between luggage compartment and rear passengers. Scratch what I just said. So yeah, it's not between a driver and the and the occupants. It's between uh, the luggage compartment and your rear passengers. Looks like we got a tilting, retracting sunroof. Of course we do. Uh, it says it glides open at a single button press to reveal the endless panorama of the sky above. So here they're talking about the lounge seating. Uh, elevated seating for up to three people in the rear. And you can kind of see that. You see how it's like it's raised. And that's kind of cool. The color is rear seats swath in the world's finest leather. Yes. Uh, what is this? 
What is this? The loading assistant offers seats that fold at the touch of a button. Okay, well, a lot of people do that. That's nothing super fancy. That should be expected for sure. Uh, what else do we have here? We've got uh, the luggage compartment floor that creates a smooth surface and a versatile space for items. That's kind of cool. Uh, what do we got here? I think we're back to the seating here. Yeah. All right. Let's move on. Thing is, with websites like this, vehicles like this, they don't spend a lot of time talking about technical specifications. They're selling a lifestyle. You get it? You're selling a lifestyle here. And so they're not going to spend a lot of time talking about cruise control and heads-up displays and, and all that. They're not. They're talking about how luxurious and glamorous you can be in here with your champagne cooler or a whiskey decanter. If you drink, right, maybe you don't drink. Why, did, why do you always have to have cocktails? Why does wealth always have to have cocktails? Are you so stressed out that you always have to have your drink on or something? I mean, seriously, that gets old. That said, everything's all exquisite, of course. It's all exquisite. Look at the little flip up there. Uh, here they're talking about technology. So they are going to dive into technology a little bit. We can see they've got some flip-up screens and the tables in the back. You got your full uh, four zone. You probably got a four. You got a, probably at least a two or four zone climate control. They're not going to tell us, right? Oh, they say explore more. Let's find out. Okay, well, they don't give us any detail because, like I said, they're really just selling a lifestyle. They're really just selling a lifestyle. They're like, yep, you got switches there to turn on your heat and AC. Check. Okay, great. It's like, how come the more expensive this vehicle gets, the simp more simplistic and basic they get in their marketing and delivery of everything, right? It's kind of a little funny. They said explore more, and we found out nothing. Here's a nice shot of the interior. That looks pretty cool. Is that looks like is that the is that a clock right there on the dashboard? It looks like that's a clock right there. Uh, I'm not crazy about the interior uh, color combo, but I know it's quite luxurious in there. Here we've got some more images, but this time we've got some some sentences underneath. Uh, they're they're showing us the spirit of ecstasy uh, on the Cullinan. Here they're showing us uh, your uh, your kick plates, your door sills. They call them tread plates. Everybody's got a different name. Uh, the Patheon Grill. It's an elegant masterpiece of optical illusion. Well, it, looks, it looks big to me. You've got the uh, self-riding wheel centers. I guess the RRs always stand straight up and down. That's kind of cool. They remain in their proper position, they say. Uh, there's a Cullinan 18-speaker bespoke audio system. Uh, what else is there? Ironically, uh, let's see, uh, there's umbrellas. Yeah, there's umbrellas in there in the Rolls Royce. I think that's been a feature that's been around forever. Uh, designed to make a definitive uh, thing. There's a button that opens the doors, gracefully closing at the touch of, the, uh, at the touch of a button. So you can close the doors at the touch of a button. Uh, what do they have here? Handcrafted elegance, right? They're just talking about the materials and all of that. Okay, so it wasn't much of a page, and I didn't expect it to be. Normally, vehicles like this don't tell you a whole bunch of information because you're buying a lifestyle. And the vehicle just at this price point comes with all that stuff, so they don't probably really need to talk about it. Uh, so what we really need to do now is we're going to do our build. I think the final challenge was this, them just driving around in all that desert, showing you how hardcore the vehicle was. Uh, bespoke is how you can just choose all your own exclusive colors and leathers and this and that and all that kind of thing. Uh, that's what the bespoke's all about. So let us actually start our uh, configuration. Let's jump into that. Okay, let's configure our 2021 Rolls Royce Cullinan Ultra Luxury SUV. Well, we can finally actually see, uh, for lack of a better term, some gallery images. So we, because they give us a lot of different angles from the exterior and from the interior, because we're going to be building pricing it. We can see down here they've got all these different uh, categories, packages, exterior style, exterior options, interior style, interior options, personalization, and accessories. Then they have this thing down here called Inspired Specs. What's that, you ask? Well, it seems a lot like uh, how Bentley did it. They didn't call it inspired specifications. I don't remember what they called it, but they kind of had some pre-laid out models, popular configurations or something like that. They called it 
where you had a certain color exterior match with different wheels. You can see these all have different wheels. They have different color in exteriors, and they'll have different uh, layouts of their interior, and they all have different names like Urban, Opulence, Wellness, Aspen. There's others. There's Indulgence, Dunes, uh, Aviation, and Odyssey. So, for instance, uh, the one that we – I think the inspired specification that's already on here because it's red – is probably, yeah, it's got to be, yeah, with the same matching wheels, it's got to be this urban one. So let's take a look at, say, the wellness one. And we can now see that up here at the at this gallery or whatever it's called, uh, we've got the wellness-inspired specification. And wow, look, it's this whatever color of blue it is. It's got these gorgeous wheels. Uh, it's got this fat, tabulous uh, blue leather interior. Uh, I don't know if you really could see the veneers. You see the wood. It's got a light wood on there. Uh, so, yeah, there, there's a nice shot of it there. So you can see that, yeah, these in, inspired specifications just are pre, pre-selected uh, packages, I guess, for lack of a better term, or configurations for your Cullinan. Well, let's actually go through them all. So we already saw the Urban. We just looked at the wellness, and I just loaded uh, the opulence. So here's the opulence inspired spec level. We might go with one of these inspired spec levels and then build it out from there. I don't really know. Uh, or we might just start off. Yeah, look at that. It's got a lot of different colors, even some kind of shade of a, a greenish blue in there. So, yeah. You, wow. Look at that. So, yeah, you can see how this works with the inspired specs. You may just find one of these that you like or or if you got to absolutely have unique everything you can do that as well okay so we looked at the urban the opulence and the wellness inspired specifications let's check out the aspen specification here's the aspen specification no no surprise it's basically all white uh it looks pretty nice i like the aspen it, it's very cool that's a nice interior that's a very nice interior the Aspen is a nice spec. That's a pretty nice spec. This one here is the indulgence specification. And, you know, I guess green and wealth, I guess indulgence is, has to do with that. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't really, I don't really care about that exterior, but the interior is kind of nice. And see, that's what you might find. You might find one of these specs where you like the uh, exterior, I mean the interior, and then you might want to change the color and wheels kind of thing. You know, you might want to do something like that and then add a few other little bits and pieces and your own personal touches. So this is the Dunes specification. Uh, we got this beige and, and, and tans going on. And normally I don't really like this stuff, but this looks very luxurious. I like this. These kind of cars to me, yeah, the sporty look on them and the aggressive look is kind of cool. But these cars to me are about luxury and opulence and cruising and... You're motoring. You're not even driving. You're motoring. Uh, yeah, that looks kind of cool. Uh, the seats are all right. They're all right. They look like candy or something. I don't know. Uh, those bullseye candies or whatever they were, those old school things. Uh, yeah, let's move on. Okay, so we've gone through a lot of these specifications. We just looked at the dunes. Before that, we did the indulgence, and we've already looked at all these other ones back here. So really, the only uh, specs that we need to look at now is this aviation specification and the Odyssey specification. This one here is the aviation, and I'm feeling this one. What color is that? I'm not sure what color that is, but I think I might like the interior. Let's see what those seats look like. Eh, I don't know about that orange. But see, they're just showing you all the infinite possibilities really as well. Is what they're really showing us. Okay, and this last specification package is called the Odyssey. It's called the Odyssey. I'm not sure what kind of color. Is that a purplish blue? I'm not sure what color this interior is. What color is that? I'm not really sure. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, there's the wood veneers. They're okay. You know, so far, honestly, I think I might like the Bentley Bentayga a little bit better. A little bit better. I get it. This is more expensive. That doesn't mean it's better. That doesn't mean that you have to like it more, does it? No, it doesn't. So here we are. We went through all those specifications. Here we are back at the Dune specification. And I thought, well, maybe we'll start there. Maybe we'll start with the Dune specification. And so now we can move on to packages and see what's up with that. 
So when we get over here to packages, it switched us to an interior view. As I scroll down the option packages, it shows Cullinan package check. But you know what? There's no way to, there's no information. They don't tell us anything. Uh, but I guess we have the Cullinan package. We don't know what it is. They never told us in the features. We don't know. Maybe their configurators are a little bit different than Bentley's and most everybody else's where you can start choosing different colors. Because when I switch over here to exterior style, I come down, they tell us about the color schemes of the vehicle. And then you've got some some other things here like coach line. And so what's that all about? You've got single coach line and double coach line. Uh, do they mean like the pinstriping? Is that what they mean by that? Because... Uh, What's the info button? Yeah, let's hit the uh, info button, figure that out. It says a double coach line is positioned along the waistline of the car and runs the full length of the car. Uh, well, I guess coach line, yeah, that is that pinstripe. There it is. It's the pinstripe. So this one looks like that would be a double coach line, and then you got the single coach line. And I guess the way we're set up right now, we don't have, we don't have a coach line at all, do we? No, we don't have any pinstriping. Well, we added the double coach line, but I can't see the double coach line. I think I might catch it, but that might just be the lighting. But I added uh, the double coach line. Uh, oh, we got to choose the coach line color or doesn't. Here it goes. Select the color. There we go. So what color should we do? What color should we do? Uh, I'm not really sure. Let's try this. This I, I can't even pronounce it. This. Let's, it looks like a cognac color to me. Let's give that a shot, see what it looks like. I think ever so subtly, I can see a coach line right along there. I can. Ever so subtly, there is a coach line. And it's a little bit darker than the exterior of, uh, of this color, and I, of the dune. I'm not sure what the color of the exterior paint is called ex specifically. But our, uh, our coach line, our double coach line, looks a little bit better. I like it. I like it. So for wheel options, we've got what? We've got the 22-inch seven-spoke wheel. Uh, that's it's I. It's just okay. It's okay. Do they have any better wheels? I think I might like these 22-inch fully polished wheels. Let's go ahead and put those bad boys on. See what they look like. Okay, so there are those 22-inch wheels that are polished up. They look super awesome. I like it. Here's some I did color. You can change the exterior color scheme. You just need to click this. By clicking this, it pulls up the color schemes. And that color scheme is called Petra Gold. That is a Petra Gold color scheme. They have others, though. They have others. Look at this English white, Arctic white, Tempest gray, Bohemian red. Uh, all of those. Hmm... Hmm, let's see. I'm kind of curious about the English white. Uh, let's take a look at that really fast. Wow, the English white looks pretty nice with our, uh, with our. Uh, I'm going to call it pinstrip, coach line. There it is. They call it the coach line. The English white looks kind of nice, doesn't it? I think it does. Should we look at some other colors? Should we look at all the colors? Let's look at all the colors. Okay, this one here is called black diamond it's called black diamond whoops i do like the interior that's why we're kind of starting with this this dune one we're probably we're not doing the dark color though i can tell you that right now we're not going to do a dark color but we will go through all the colors this one's called black diamond okay and then i just set the color to uh darkest tungsten you know what we're probably not going to go through all the colors because i just realized that they've got these standard colors right all these standard colors that we're looking at they've got this commission collection and to be honest with you this the configurator loads extremely slow uh they've got all these commission colors they've got special order colors and then yeah and a lot of them it's infinite the palette is infinite honestly and then they have the crystal finish so you've got a lot of different colors uh and then like i said they got the standard colors it's, we start off with the petra gold and i actually kind of like that english white so i think we're going to stick with that Okay, so we got the English white. We're still on exterior style here. We got the English white. We've got uh, a double coach line. What color is that that we're looking at here? That coach line color is the, I called it cognac. It's Armagnac. I, I can't even pronounce it. I don't even know. 
Oh, but they actually even have special colors of those. Did you see that? I didn't see the ribbons up here. So those were the coach line colors. Here's all those coach line colors. Then they have special order coach line colors. So, like I said, the palette's infinite. And if their configurator loaded fast, I would maybe go through all those colors. But because it's so slow, no. So they got wheel detailing. Center caps match to wheel. Uh, body colored wheel centers. Uh, pinstripe applied to wheel center. Okay, so the only thing I selected was body colored wheel centers. So that's, you can see how they show the red here. So obviously we're going to get ours in that English white. And when I look up here at the configurator, it's hard to see it. But I'm sure in person you could probably see that. So that was wheel detailing. All right, so that looked like that was it then for exterior style. I guess now... Let's talk about exterior options. Oh, hmm. Exterior options. Really? The gold spirit of ecstasy is nice, but we just don't have any goldy kind of stuff. Had I kept that dune color, that the gold spirit of ecstasy I thought would, would look nice. But I think we'll do a solid silver one uh, because that seems to make sense to me with that particular color that we're using. So it looks like we already have the exterior stainless steel package. It says brush metal application to the front and rear uh, center bumper sections, providing a striking, durable appearance. We already have that. There's an electronic tow hitch. We're not towing anything. Uh, there's the satin finish bonnet. Uh, special matte silver paint. Nope, you lost me at matte silver, buddy. Don't like that matte silver paint at all. We don't have a really big shot of it, but we can see our silver uh, spirit of ecstasy right there. Oh, and that's it for uh, exterior options. Okay, let's move on to interior style. Now, now we're going to get into picking seat color. Choose an interior environment. Horizontal interior scheme, signature interior scheme, bespoke interior, uh, so you can have seat centers, atmospheric interior. I'm, I'm lost on all of that, to be honest with you. I'm not sure what any of that means. What's the, Do we have other ones? Contrast interior scheme. Uh, mono interior scheme, so it's all one color. Uh, accent interior scheme, right? I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Uh, I think we're going to stick with what we have, I, I guess. I don't even know. This is this is where this stuff gets really, 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 uh, I don't know, over the top for me. Because at the end of the day, for me personally, it's just not that serious. It's just really uh, not that serious. Um... Do we want uh do we want our we've basically got two different colors here. Do we like that or do we not like that? I think I might like it. Uh, I was thinking about I just wanted to see about some different colors. I hadn't thought so far out as if I wanted to be all one solid color, this, that, and the other thing. It's almost, like I said, too much. Okay, so these are our primary colors, I guess. And so we've got this moccasin. That's what we have in there now. What if we try the tan? A little bit darker now that's the standard colors that's our primary interior interior color right here is that moccasin and let's just go back and just verify where all this moccasin is at okay there's all the moccasin all right let's go back to the primary color uh there's the tan then they got the commission uh collection oh they've got oh we can match our pinstripe if we want it with that uh that whatever this color is let's let's match our pinstripe see how that goes I don't think that looks so attractive. I think the pinstripe, should, I think that color should stay on the outside. Okay, here's the tan. I think it's a little bit darker. I think I like it a little bit better, but let's let's dig around a little bit more. All right, this color here, I'm, now I'm trying to find some browns maybe, and I really don't like, I usually don't go for browns, but it seems like the way to go. Uh, this is called fawn brown, and I'm not really feeling it. What other colors do we have here? Uh, let's see. Oh, we could go navy. That would be really interesting, wouldn't it? A navy would be really interesting. We'd be changing the whole thing around. But at this point, at this point, let's try this. What is this? Cocoa or whatever that is. Let's see this brown here. And then maybe we'll switch up the whole thing. Okay, I don't see much of a change on that. So let's just switch it up. Let's get out of these exterior colors. And maybe let's just go to a mono Let's go to a mono exterior where you, we've got one solid color. That might just work best for me. I think that looks a little bit better. What do you think? 
I think that looks a little bit better. This color is called Ardent Red. We went with a mono interior, meaning everything's the same color. Uh, it's like this, it's a red, but it's more like a burgundy, a, 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 it's a, a cranberry. I don't really, I can't really explain it. I kind of like this color. We're going to leave that. We're going to leave that color. Now we can talk about seat configurations. Do we want a lounge seat? Do we want these immersive seats with a center console? Do we want uh, front massage seats? That's already checked, actually. And what is this? Ventilated rear seats, front ventilated seats. Uh, well, we probably want the front ventilated seats. I'm sure I would want the rear ventilated seats. And honestly, I just think I'd rather have the lounge seat. I get it with the armrest in there. But I think I'd rather this be more like a traditional vehicle and just have a regular, they call it a lounge seat. Everybody else will call it a bench seat. Okay, there's our configuration now. We've got our, our ardent red, I think. it. What, 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 what? Hang on a second here. I obviously in, uh, clicked one of these other interior environments when I really wanted the mono interior scheme. Here we are back to the mono interior scheme. We've got the rear, I'm going to call it a bench seat. We got a rear bench seat. We got the Arden red. We've got the what was that? I can't remember the English white. Uh, we've got uh, whatever that color, brownish color, pinstripe or yeah, secondary stripe or whatever they call it. We've got that going on. We got a little bit of the matching paint on our wheels. Uh, let's move on. So there are leather detailing options. Colored box grain. Not sure what that is. Leather finishing pack. I don't know what that is. Instrument panel with top stitch. We already have that. Uh, something in Bo Oh, Spirit of Ecstasy embossed on doors. I don't think we need that. Uh, RR monograms embossed on doors. RR monogram on all headrests. That's, we got that. That's check. Uh, seat options. We got the picnic tables. We got the heated passenger surround. Uh, do we want the rear comfort headrest cushions? Nah, we don't need that stuff. The veneers. What do we want for veneers? The wood. Uh, the wood that's in there is kind of nice. I, I like it, the one that's in there. Uh, but let, should we take a look at some of these other ones? they got a lot of different veneers. So we can see what's in here now. All right, It's kind of it's nice. i like to see something a little darker, though. We might be as dark as it kind of sort of gets. Well, I don't want dark like this. I mean like a dark, like, burl walnut kind of thing. I guess we have checked the open pore mimosa negra. And I don't think there's anything darker than that. There's this open pore calamander. Uh, let's give that a shot, see what that looks like. No, I don't think I like those stripes. I wish they just had a nice burl walnut with a little bit of gloss on it. That I'm sure they could do that for you bespoke. This is that open pore santo something or another color. I don't really like that. Uh, you know what, let's just try one other one and then we'll just go back to where we were. Uh, let's try this open pore black wood just for giggles and see what it looks like. If, if that doesn't, if that doesn't fly, if that doesn't fly, I guess we could always go with the piano black. We could always go piano black. <laughs> the open pore black wood's not that bad. The open pore black wood is not that bad. Uh, maybe I might like it better than the piano cause that's going to be all dusty and fingerprinty. Uh, the reality is I don't like any of those veneers, okay? Let the record show I don't like any of those veneers. Uh, so I'm just picking one. Uh, this one's not too bad, though. So let's move on. Okay, so they've got extended veneer applications. We have it on the steering wheel. We have it on the extended veneer fascia. I guess we could get it on the center if we wanted it. We have it on the chevron. We have the chevron wood as well. So you can get a colored steering wheel if you want it, and we're not going to do that. We have the enhanced clock face. Uh, there's an indulge bespoke, and then there's a technical one. I think I kind of like the technical one a little bit, to be honest with you. Let's do the technical bespoke clock. Now you got a headliner. Uh, we got the panorama glass roof, or you can have, and they have what they call a shooting star headliner. Shooting star headliner uses a series of fiber optic tracks, which randomly fire to give the effects of shooting stars. What? I'm all over it. We're all over that. We're all over that. Done. We got the shooting star headliner as well. And we can actually see little speckles. And we can see little speckles up on the uh, up on the headliner there indicating our, our stars. There's, there's another shot of it there. Very cool. Okay, so that was it for interior style. It was a whole bunch of stuff. Now we got to move on to 
interior options. Oh, you got the tread plates. You got additional interior options like lamb's wood floor mats. We got that. Uh, the boot. How do you want that set up? Oh, do you want the viewing suite and uh, privacy stuff, rear privacy glass? Let's go ahead and just check that right now. Let's go ahead and just check the rear privacy glass. I don't think we need a smoker's package uh, or anything like that. Uh, all right, let's let's take it back up to the top. Let's check out these tread plates. I guess we have the illuminated ones and the polished stainless steel. So I guess we're good on those. I like that. That works for me. Additional options. Uh, we have the lamb's wool, wool foot mats. And I'm happy with that. And the VIN plate. Okay, cool. The boot. Uh, we got a retractable, retractable mode. Re recreation mode. I'm sorry. A boot preparation. And we have the viewing suite. I don't think I need any of that. We have the boot preparation, which whatever that is. Uh, provides latching points in the boot floor for the re recreation module or viewing suite. So you could always add to it if you wanted to. Uh, for privacy, we got the rear privacy glass. That works. For driver assist, uh, we have all the driver assist systems, which include what? Uh, night vision assist, park assist, cruise control with stop and go. Here's all your tech. Uh, yeah, all your tech's there. You got the rear theater configuration. That's the tablets and your and your tables. We got the bespoke audio. Uh, we don't need the television tuner. I turned that down on the Bentley as well. Uh, for convenience, uh, universal garage door, check. Picnic tables, check. All right, so we've gone through all that. We didn't really have to make any changes. They had everything, uh, all the right boxes ticked for us. Over here, we've got what? Let's just get out of that picture. Over here, we've got what? Personalization. Do you want some umbrellas uh, and all of that? I guess that's all good, but these are all accessories or personalization stuff. And... and it's all cool, but I don't I don't need my name on all this stuff. It's 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 not like that. Uh, I don't need my name on all of it. Let's move on to accessories. All right, my name is going to be on the title. You understand what I'm saying? The most important piece, <laughs> the title, buddy. Uh, let's see, battery connector. If it's going to be sitting around, snow chains, uh, indoor, uh, outdoor cover. I'm going to get the cover. I got the covers for the Bentley just because, just because I like that kind of stuff. Oh. They don't, I guess we can't grab it from there. Interior, look at those rear seat headphones. Those are sweet. Uh, you got a luggage compartment net. net. You got all weather floor mats and stuff. Uh, nothing to check on that, though. They're just showing us some accessories. So, yeah, I guess, I guess we've gone through everything there is to know. And now I guess I can say uh, we can probably wrap this video up. Honestly, we found out the price. We've learned the features. We, we did a build and spec and all of that. So. If you found this review of the 2021 Rolls-Royce Cullinan Ultra Luxury SUV helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the very next video.